we ourselves are 60% water. An infant is even more. An infant may be 70% water. What is that water? Where did it come from? Well, here in Nashville and throughout the Cumberland River Basin, for two and a half million people, that water is Cumberland River water, literally. When the song lyric says, we are the river, or I am the river, you betcha, <laughs> you are the river. 20 years ago, in uh, 1997, the phone rings and it's Shirley. Back then, you wouldn't go swimming or fishing or anything. But today, it's a great success story. Of course, the catalyst was Vic Scoggins' remarkable swim. I said, I need to swim down the river. I, I, got, I, need to find, I need to know about this river. He decides to take his vacation and swim the entirety of the river. So I thought it was like 400 miles, but it ended up being you know, almost 700. It really piqued my curiosity, and I wanted to do more. Trash everywhere, it was like a third world country, and I said, that's why I'm doing this right there. To have this wonderful river and have it not be swimmable, fishable, have it be polluted was an offense. You know? But I got shot at down, the, down the, uh, the next bridge I came to. and You know, what are you, a tree hugger or something like that? You're an environmentalist, and I thought you were a P.I. And I said, now listen, listen, this is devastating our, our rivers. I had $1,000 in $1 bills. <laughs> I just dumped it out. They said, well, how are we going to raise all this money? And I said, well, here's a start. And everybody's eyes were about that big. All along this river here were uh, big warehouses, factories, small businesses. And everybody backed up to the river. And you know, when you back up to the river, what it is. We had a meat packing plant right down the river. That they would throw that crap off in the river. It didn't, it didn't matter. That's what people did. They still do it. One of my big surprises in learning about the river was that the major pollutant is dirt. I tell these kids, I said, you got something running through your yard. Just take care of your yard right now and then, and then expand to your community. You know, the compact educates people. It shows what, what happens when you dam something up on the other side. The mission of the compact is to enhance the health and enjoyment of the Cumberland River and its tributaries. And we do it through education, collaboration, and action. Man, this is what I did this for, is to get people involved. I think the biggest improvement is the awareness. You know, people are more aware. The developer has to say, I'm not going to build too close to that stream. I'm going to leave a buffer. I want Cumberland to be the cleanest major river in America, and the only way to really do that is to go out here and stop anybody and everybody that's putting stuff in the river. So much development, it's too much, too big, too high, too fast, too loud, too much traffic, but the river flows on. The work that is being done is unbelievable. I mean, it's truly one of Nashville's gifts to come into the compact. And I think everybody that's been involved here is so committed. One of Nashville's most significant and most important features of this whole area is the Cumberland River. I think they're gonna be more people that are going to be saying, let's do good to the water. Let's do good to the fields. They're going to be more good. And if we were to have a drought, like they run the cycle in California, this river for drinking water would be so important that people would say, wow. So it's, it's, it's all about education. It's all about awakening in people what is already in there, but they just don't know. It gives me hope because, you know, and I look out and see the sunset and the sparkles on the water and there and a bald eagle flies over. That, and I see that American flag up there and how beautiful really everything is. 
It's how do you talk to a landowner who says, I own this property, I have every right to do with everything that's on it that I want to do. And how do you tell them, no, no, the water that flows through belongs to all of us. Give me a small job I can do because I can't tackle the big mess, but I can take care of something that we can do today. And I'm hoping that we, if we're not doing it, we can get to do it, and that is to, to spend more time with the young kids. I just try to get with those kids because, I mean, you know, there's the Army, there's the future. You know, my love started when I was young. That's it.